Hello, hi. Today we are going to study a new chapter, electromagnetic waves. It is a very very simple chapter. Okay, so uh, don't worry regarding that chapter. So we are starting without much introduction. I am starting. So in that chapter, so we are discussing a very small topic first, the inconsistency in ambiance circuital law. Okay, ambiance circuital law, you know. Okay, what is the inconsistency in that? Uh, let us check using a simple example. So, I am going to charge a capacitor. Shall I take a capacitor? So, I am going to take a capacitor and I am going to charge it. So, I am taking my capacitor. So, this is a capacitor. Okay, two plates. Okay, then I am sending a current through it. It is a time dependent current. Okay, I it is uh, it is a current. It, it is changing with respect to time. Uh, with the passage of time, the current changes. So it is a time dependent current. So changing current, you think. See, so I am sending a time dependent current through a capacitor. So let us see what happens. See, I want to find the magnetic field here at the point P. Okay. So for that, see, the distance from this wire is R. What is that distance? That distance is called R R. Okay. So including this point P, I am taking a closed path. It is an ampedian loop. It is a circle of radius R. Okay. Then this wire is perpendicular to its plane. Okay. So this is a capacitor. I want to charge the capacitor. I am sending a time dependent current I of T. Then I want to find the magnetic field at a point P outside the plates of the capacitor. So for that, including P, I am considering an ampedian loop. It is a circle of radius R. Okay. Then you know about the wire. So it, this is a wire, suppose. It carries a current. So how will you find the magnetic field surrounding that wire? See, just hold it. By using the right hand thumb rule, you can find the magnetic field. See, this is a magnetic field line. Okay. So at the point P, you just draw a tangent. You will get the magnetic field. So at this point P, you just draw a tangent. You will get the magnetic field at the point P. There, you can take a small element also. It is DL. So the angle between the magnetic field and the element DL at the point P will be zero. Okay. So at the point P, there is a magnetic field. There, you can take a small element also. Okay, so this is the element. Angle between these two is zero. Then, by Ampere circuital theorem, so what will we write? Closed integral B dot DL is equal to mu zero times total current enclosed by the path. Okay, this is a mathematical step. Then, here I told you, here, uh, this is a B and this is a DL. See the angle between these two is zero. So B dot DL becomes B DL, you know. So B DL. So B DL is equal to mu zero. Then uh, the only current inside this loop is I T. Okay. Okay. Then B taking taken out. Then closed integral DL is equal to mu zero I then T. Okay. Then B as such. On integrating DL, you will get the perimeter of the circle. What is it? It is 2 pi R. So 2 pi R is equal to mu 0 I T. Okay. Then what is B? B is equal to mu 0 I. Then divided by 2 pi R. So I got the magnetic field at the point P using Ampere circuit theorem. I will explain you once again. See, this is your capacitor. Okay, uh, you are sending a time dependent current through the capacitor. So, with the passage of time, the current changes. See, that's why I am calling it time dependent current. Then, I want to find the magnetic field at this point P at a distance R from the wire. Then, I am uh, taking an ampedian loop of radius R at the point P, the angle between magnetic field and DL is 0. So, by Ampere circuital theorem, you can write this first step closer integral B dot DL is equal to mu 0 I. Okay. 
then angle between B and DL is 0, so B dot DL becomes B DL equal to mu 0 I of T. Then B taken out integral DL is equal to mu 0 I of T. Then B as such in, uh, integral DL is 2 pi R is equal to mu 0 I T. Then you calculate B. B is equal to mu 0 I divided by 2 pi R. This is a magnetic field at the point P. I think you got it. Now, I am calculating the magnetic field at the P in a different way. Okay, shall I? So, so the same capacitor, okay, the same capacitor, uh, the same current I of T, okay, then I want to find the magnetic field at this point P, the same P, okay, but I am using a different method. See here, this is an ambidian loop, but it is a mouth of a box shaped, sorry, uh, port shaped uh, surface. Am I right? See, this is a ambidian loop. Okay, its a radius is R, but it is a mouth of a port. Okay, the base of the port is in between the plates of the capacitor. Am I right? So, let, let us check. By ambient circuit will be closer integral. B dot DL is equal to mu 0 times total current. Am I right? Then here the total current inside the loop means the current entering loop and leaving out of the base of the pot. Okay, where is the base of the pot? The base of the pot is in between the plates of the capacitor. In between the plates of the capacitor, no current. See, capacitor, in between the capacitor, plates of capacitor, there is an insulator, am I right? No current. See, see here, the current entering the loop is I of T, but no current leaves out of the base. So, the current is taken as zero in the situation. So, closer in the well, B dot DL is equal to mu zero into zero, am I right? Here, uh, the angle between B and DL is Zero, you know. So this can be written as uh, closer integral B D L is equal to zero. Okay. Then B taken out integral D L is equal to zero. So here you are multiplying two numbers. Answer equal to zero. So one should be zero. Length cannot be zero. So B is equal to zero. So I am getting the magnetic field at the point P. I am getting the magnetic field at the point as zero. See. In the first method and in the second method, I calculated the magnetic field at the point P. Am I right? But I got two different answers. It is the inconsistency in Ampere circuital theorem. So, uh, I must get the same answer in both cases, but I am getting two different answers. So, it is an inconsistency in Ampere circuital theorem. Okay. Once again, I will explain the entire thing once again. See, the question is, what is the inconsistency in Ampere circuital theorem? Explain using an example. See, uh, consider the example of charging a capacitor by passing a time dependent current I of T. Okay, then we want to find the magnetic field at a point P outside the plates of the capacitor. The point P is at a distance R from the connection wire. Okay, then uh, we are taking an Ampedian loop, it is a circle of radius R. Its plane is perpendicular to the wire and the wire passes exactly through its center. Am I right? Then, by Ampere circuital theorem, one can write closer integral uh, B dot DL is equal to mu zero sigma i. Am I right? Then, angle between B and DL. What is the uh, angle between B and DL? At the point P, you, uh, you know the magnetic field. There you take a small element. So the angle between these two will be zero. So this becomes closer integral B D L equal to mu zero I. Okay. What is the only current through this loop? It is I. Okay. Then B taken out integral D L is equal to mu zero I. Then B on integrating D L you will get 2 pi R full perimeter of the circle. Uh, is equal to mu zero I. You calculate B. Okay. I am getting the answer of magnetic field at the point P. Okay. So, I am getting an answer. Now, I am calculating the same magnetic field. I am calculating the magnetic field at the point P using another method. Okay. In this case, see, uh, this is the point P and uh, this is an ambidian loop, but it is a mouth of a 
box uh, sorry uh, pop to shape the surface okay you can take a tiffin box shape also no problem uh, the base of the pot is in between the plates of the capacitor in between the plates of the capacitor you know there is an insulator no current see uh, here by ampere circuit theorem we write this step you know but what is sigma I? in this situation if you are taking this case the current the total current is the current entering the loop and leaving out of the base it is a current so no current leaves out of the base because the base is in between the plates of the capacitor am i right so you have to keep the sigma i value as zero so r the side becomes zero okay then uh, the other things as usual the angle between b and dl here zero so b dot dl becomes b dl then right side becomes zero then b taken out then b into uh, in, integral dl is equal to zero if they are multiplying two numbers answer is equal to zero so one should be zero dl cannot be zero so b will be zero so the magnetic field at the point p is zero see i calculate the magnetic field at the point p in two different ways actually i must get a, get the same answer but i am not getting the same answer i am getting two different answers so it is a inconsistency in ampere's circuit theorem okay so something is missing somewhere okay some uh, so some some problem somewhere so it is a inconsistency in ampere's circuit theorem okay so we will try to sort it out in the next session okay